What's up guys? But right now we are exploring Pilgrim State Psychiatric Hospital abandoned uh, grounds here. They turned it into a park, but I'm gonna try to GPS or at least link some make images of where I am as I walk the property. There's a lot of history here. Um, Long Island, I love local history. And uh, you can hear behind me, this is Comac Road. Um, but I am almost, uh, I'm on the property and we have some paths we're walking on right now. Um, I'm gonna link my GPS and I'm gonna go to my GoPro. So we have some uh, images as we walk the path. And uh, you know, this is overgrown, typical for a park here. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get anywhere that I wanna get off the trail to show you some uh, pretty cool stuff, but uh, we will see when we get there. I have my uh, machete I got here, just in case I need to get past some brush. But uh, besides that, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the little uh, history. We are here, we are currently walking. Um, I'm gonna keep my phone out so we can track this. Um, but we are currently walking to that diagonal road you can see on the, on the map. This is uh, the old Colmac Road. The old Colmac Road was, uh, was built in the early 1900s. This was really, besides uh, Old Deer Park Avenue, this was one of the few ways to get from, uh, from the Deer Park area all the way northbound. So, this was... All right, I stopped it on exit. So this road right here is Colmac Road. Um, yeah, so this right here, old cement. This went all the way northbound, all the way to the North Shore, pretty much on Long Island. It's a Jericho turn Turnpike, and it goes back this way. And uh, we are currently walking south, um, which isn't going to work for what I need. But we are going to continue walking up this path, uh, and we're going to go check out the old railroad tracks that uh, were used to transport patients from um, mostly from New York City because this out here was all farmland that's why they uh, built this out here there was nothing out here so they bought cheap land and built this massive hospital which was the biggest hospital in the world at the time and at the peak I believe it um, housed uh, I could be wrong on post uh, the facts but uh, it's between 17,000 I'd say 17 18,000 people were uh, here at this hospital um, these paths are all made here to uh, keep people out of the areas that were, uh, um, yeah, I want to go to the left right now. As you can see on my map, uh, I have, you see those, uh, almost like steps, They're like the sand. Those are um, the tunnel system. That is a tunnel system that was, uh, this image you're looking at first of all is uh, 1946. So that image is, uh, so to my left is in these woods are uh, the abandoned tunnels. So the abandoned tunnels, um, I don't know if they're ac accessible. Um, I think it'll probably be easy to get to from the other side if there is a path on the other side. But uh, yeah, I do want to check them out. I got, like I said, I got my uh, machete with me, uh, knife, and just in case we had to go back there, I got tick spray on and uh, sunscreen. So, so we got right here, we got the main loop, and uh, yeah, you can see little paths through here. Um, you know what, we'll step in there as we get closer to the that big facility that I'm walking towards on the map. You can see that facility. That was um, the power plant. That's where the trains were able to drop off the coal that powered the power plant, that powered the entire property back in the 40s and 50s. Um, and uh, yeah, the trains were used here for many years until Again, I believe the last uh, train left here in uh, 89 or so. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of creepy in here um, when you're by yourself. You do hear things in the woods. And uh, they're all homeless. 
and animals. And, uh, you know, rumors of when night falls uh, of the ghost of the people, uh, the thousands of people who died with lobotomies and experiments that they performed here in this hospital. Um, pretty crazy stuff. But uh, again, it's what intrigues me to do these videos is because of uh, just the strange and bizarre things that we have done in history that is super interesting. I love it. But um, yeah, so you can hear the beautiful birds and so on the map, I got a spider web, damn it, I hate spiders. On the map, I got a little path it looks like coming up, but that obviously this path was 1946, so there's definitely not a path now. Um, but you can see, and again, you got to just be mindful of, uh, you know, you got bikes now that are doing like 30 miles an hour, all electric. You don't hear them until it's too late, you know. Not like you hear someone coming on a bike, you have time to move. But this is really cool. Peaceful. Um, really wish I had more time, but I guess, you know, hour and a half is better than nothing. So try to look at the bright side of everything. And, you know, there's, I'm gonna go off on a tangent here, but there's a, Machete's falling out of my bag crate. There's so many documents out there that prove that um, the, terp the terpenes, terpines, terpenes, which are the smells that are captured in woods and forests, that they're stuck under the, the um, canopy of the trees. These smells of all the things you would call allergies, possibly, or the pine, the maple, the weeds, everything that is trapped under here. Um, it is, I could, I mean, I don't want to go too far, but uh, it's known to, in certain countries like Japan, they've studied it and they've known it, uh, it heals. It repairs genes, it's just the smells, and that's why they say get out and go for walks in the city. I don't know about that. Uh, they say that doesn't help. You got to get under the brush. You got to get in the trees and, and these smells. And that's why, um, you know, I personally bought some, uh, some, um, yeah, I probably should have the word before I talk. Um, cedar, cedar scents, incense, like, uh, like oil, pure oil. And every once in a while, I'll just put a little bit on my hand and I smell it. It's pine and it's, uh, it's an amazing scent. That scent in particular, they say is, uh, is, uh, excellent for, uh, genetic healing, uh, repairs your genes and repairs, uh, they say if you have cancer, it helps with cancer. Just getting out and moving and getting out to the woods, nature. I mean, do a reset. It does a body reset, just being out here. It's amazing. It's quiet. I mean, 15 minutes ago, there was nothing but cars. I'm out here, probably half a mile from the street. I don't hear anything and I don't see anyone. And it's pretty awesome. But this is Edgewood State Forest, they're calling it now. It used to be Edgewood Preserve. What people still know it as Edgewood Preserve, but it's Edgewood State Forest. Um, we had heavy rains yesterday, so you could see all the, the channels on the ground of where the water came down. Stay out of the brush, you got ticks here, and here's a sea poison ivy right there. Um, but some pretty thick brush here. You know, I, this is not a time to be going into the brush between nice old poison ivy I can see on the ground and uh, ticks what the heck is that that was crazy something just flew by me super fast that was wild um, yeah so this is uh, again a beautiful park here um, I usually do this I just need to get out of the house but I usually do this exploration stuff in like um, late fall and early spring right when it starts getting cold out so the bugs go away and everything starts dying so I can walk through here like actually go off trail um, it doesn't look like I'm going off trail today uh, and early spring is a great time too because everything's starting to frost nothing has grown yet the ground is def 
permafrost thing, and it's just, uh, you know, ticks are still there around. It ticks are always around. They're just dormant, um, but it's a good time to go. So we are coming up to uh, a crossroads up here. You can see on the map, we got uh, the power station. It's going to be on the left side, and uh, the, the train tracks is going to be on the right side. So you can see those two tracks uh, coming up from the bottom of the screen. Sorry, bottom of the map. They're coming off the main line, and they're curving up, and they are going into the Pilgrim State Center, which would be right here. Uh, nope, a little further. So we have another loop here. We have another main loop. Um, and we have another trail. That trail looks interesting. That could be uh, something we could do after this. We got a foot trail, bike trail. And then we have also another trail over here. And then uh, we're going to proceed forward to these uh, these tracks. And then once we get to the tracks, we'll uh, figure out what we're going to do. There's a lot of elevation changes in here. You can see, uh, you know, if I stand up here, you can see uh, there's some dips of uh, where things were removed, where things were... Uh, taken out and there's still a lot of stuff left if you look into the woods um, again that's something you want to do in uh, I would say early spring over late fall just because uh, there's no brush uh, I did it this past uh, it's amazing you can't see them now because uh, of all the brush but we're gonna take this little trail here and they're gonna be on the left side um, this is where ticks get you see these bushes overhanging they hang out on these outside pieces and they put their arms out and when you pass, they grab onto you. But uh, here's some remaining train train tracks here. You can see it's a piece of track. But uh, it's going to come up a little further. And you can see the line of tracks here on the left side. So here we come to the tracks. And you're going to see these rails along this whole path here. And uh, there's a the railroad ties. And it just, uh, this is the tracks. And there's two main, there's two lines here. There's a line here, and there's a line on the other side. So here we got the tracks. And we can go all the way through how much overgrown this has been over the years. Um, this was a main line, man. This is where they transported uh, people, like hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of people thousands of people um, from uh, New York City, from all over the world, I'm sorry, from all over the country, coming back from war. Um, they thought they were insane or they had shell shock or they had PTSD and they would send them here and they would put them in straight jackets and do experiments on them to try to help them. Uh, they didn't know what they were doing, but they tried everything and, uh, you know, they became, uh, some stayed, some died and some uh, got to go home. You can see this line right here. Um, we are currently walking in between the two tracks. Uh, the other tracks aren't visible yet. There's a hill that begins up um, further out that uh, then you'll be able to see both tracks. So here we go with these, this side of the tracks. It's amazing, these tracks. And you can just see how over the years, I mean, we got 60 year old trees that have uh, Grown through here. It's pretty, pretty damn cool to me, at least. Uh, and uh, you know, all this here again. This is all part of the property, the Edgewood uh, State Forest. I know up here there is some tunnels. Um, I found last time I was here, and these tunnels do have evidence of uh, homeless. Which I saw coolers and blankets and stuff um, but we are gonna cross over the tracks and head back the way we came and uh, while we have time because it looks like time for me is running out again uh, my children are at school I get an hour and a half during the week every day just to um, work do my uh, my internet stores um, if you weren't aware I have a Etsy store two Etsy stores and then uh, an Amazon store online. So I'm able to do this stuff on the side, which is pretty amazing. Very lucky and blessed to do that. If anybody's interested in uh, learning what I do, 
or anybody's interested in learning how I do it, because it's super easy, uh, I can teach you. Just uh, let me know, comment if you hear this and you want to see or want to hear. Um, so we are now on the other side of the tracks, and let me see where I am here. We are, there should be more tracks over here. Again, it's a little creepy over here. This is very barren. It's like, there's, I'm deep. You can see by the map. I mean, that's still kind of the property. So there's nothing out here except me. Maybe a few bikers. But I think, uh, pretty cool. Birds living in there. Uh, yeah. So these tracks must be buried over here. Uh, I know if you go further out that way, um, we will see them. But it's about another uh, quarter mile, which I don't have time for that today. So we are going to head back the way we came to just try to see anything uh, off trail or something different. Um, I will come back here again and do more filming when I have more time. Uh, and your dad, of two, two awesome girls, and. Uh, you know, your uh, next year will be much easier, but time is just so tight. And they have dance three days a week, four days a week. And when there's not dance, there's soccer and religion. And there's always something. So, all right. So the other line is past this. There's like a, like a, I don't know what you call it, a cavern or like a little valley thing here. I have no idea what's down there or why that's there, but there's a hill on the other side. That hill is yellow tracks. Um, and that hill will come up slowly and meet up a little further down. That's weird, that valley. What is down there? I'm really interested in that now. Let me see if I get over there just to see what the hell is down there. Yo, there's so much poison ivy, it's crazy. Step over the poison ivy, or step on the poison ivy. I definitely don't need poison ivy. And uh, neither do my girls. Uh, ah, it goes down pretty good. All right, I'm heading back this way. So, I'm hoping uh, my voice is captured and you guys could hear me. That would be uh, pretty cool. And be on the other side pretty not cool if uh, this whole time it's not recording. Um, I've been trying to get out here for a few weeks, but uh, again, Things pop up, time, work, and, uh, you know, I want to answer some emails to work. And before you know it, I'm like, great, I have 20 minutes, I can't do anything today. So, dad life. Um, trail's getting a little tight up here. I need to not go that way. So we're going to cut across in an open spot in the middle. <clears throat> right here is good. Right through it. Love spiders. My, my friends. I keep thinking that. All right. So now we're heading. We're heading now north to uh, where the old power plant would be. So these trains would come through here, and uh, the tracks are going to be right over there, and they come here. They would extend through these woods, and that's where they would dump the, um, the coal. Um, I don't know where the, the station was. I think the station is in the Kings Park Psychiatric Center, which, was, uh, which is a little further north of here. But if we go this way. We're going to continue here and in this area we are passing right now was where the old power plant was. It's crazy because like I said in, uh, in early spring this was completely, none of these, these weeds were here. I mean I know it makes sense because it's spring but like I just walked back there. Didn't have to walk over anything, there was no poison ivy, no weeds and I found Kind of cool stuff. And I was hoping to show today 
But if you guys really like this, I mean, throw some thumbs up. I'll be glad to do it again. There's a little path here. Let's see. All right, so we're back in this area here. This is uh, kind of walking on the power plant a little bit where the, the old plant was. in here uh, was the location of the power plant I'm gonna see that's probably a good spot to go through but yeah again it's the time thing time 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 it's uh 226 my time in the afternoon here in New York and it is uh, cutting close to uh, pick up the kids I'm just looking at the floor here to see uh, stones we got here we got some uh, cool stones checking in some iron and we have a little bit more of a walking path here Let's see I'm also checking my legs to make sure there's no ticks on my legs I mean like I said I have bug spray on so should be good all right we have a little open area here we are walking pretty much where this uh, on some brick this power plant was back here this thing uh, powered the entire complex with power here I had my metal detector which I don't have it with me there's probably a lot of cool stuff we could find probably a lot of iron a lot of junk but Either way, uh, there's probably some cool finds here. Again, this is like, uh, you know, this is just what everyone should be doing. I mean, if you're into history, I mean, this is, you know, we have hundreds of thousands of people within a few square mile. And, uh, you know, this is here hidden away in front of everybody and if you want to get out and explore anybody can do this I mean it's it's not hard to do it's got to do it I mean obviously if you're like me and have kids and limited time sometimes you want to get out and you can't and then uh, you know sometime you break free and then you like you get out and you're just like wow this is amazing absolutely amazing and then you get addicted to it and you're like wow what, what can I find what did I find from history? I know last time I was out here, I found a, like a hatch somewhere in this area. Um, again, I'm kind of losing my bearings right now, other than my map in front of me. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can venture this way because I do see that those steps we were talking about the steps that is not steps those are uh those are the underground tunnels and i'm gonna see if i get through here without taking my machete out i think i have to take my machete out here okay so i didn't have to take my machete out but we are going to be going low under this brush here to see oh no spider webs see where we are what we could do or See if anything's back here. So, as you can see from the map, we are pretty close, if not on top of uh, this uh, this old power plant. Uh, we got. All right, we got some down trees. We got an old hydrant, it looks like. You guys see that? It's pretty cool. We got a... We got a water pipe. You guys can see that. 
that's uh, in my shadow. I smell. I smell exhaust. Exhaust from like a. It's weird. I smell exhaust from like a vehicle. Uh, what does that say? Mueller, Albertville, Alabama. Very cool. I smell it again. Which way is the wind? The wind's coming from this way, so it's coming from that way. Which uh, there's an industrial area over there, so it could just be uh, that area. So we are now in territory I've never been. Um, I'm gonna look at the brush situation and figure out what we're gonna do. And also look at the time. All right, so my machete fell out. So it's maybe a sign. I should just start using it. So we are heading, I'm trying to get to that sand where uh, there are the tunnels. Uh, I've never seen the tunnels. Uh, I've heard of the tunnels, but uh, they probably, from my knowledge, are uh, completely sealed. Um, seems like if it wasn't sealed, it'd be pretty dangerous to have tunnels. Um, I will show you images of the tunnels, and uh, that's pretty, some pretty dense stuff right there. So I would have to head a little further this way. Smells nice now. I should have wore pants. What was I thinking? Again, don't do this unless you guys are prepared, unlike me. Okay, shade's coming out. Luckily, uh, I just don't want to lose this uh, GPS signal. And uh, see if I can cut some of this brush out of the way right here. Not really working. Tommy has a trail right there, and I could have taken that trail. Unbelievable. There it is, right there. Nice work, mister. That's what happens when you have uh, your GPS out, but you're looking at a map from 1946. Is that, uh, there could be trails, but you look at the wrong map, so. I'm gonna head over here. So I'm gonna really quickly put my machete away. So uh, hang tight. Back. We go back. Back, back, back. All right. So there's a little path here. Let's do this. So this little path looks like it's it's following uh, where we need to be. And we really just need to keep our eyes open for these uh, hatches that supposedly exist in legend of this place. 
uh, people who have seen them in the past. But uh, again, they're not going to be easy to find. I gotta head back anyway because uh, it's not running out of time here. There's one that is completely sealed. Wow, okay. It's right here. There is, that's a hatch. There's a hatch into the tunnel system. Wow, that is very cool. It looks like it is at the front of the step. So I'm assuming each step is gonna have one They're probably around the same location. Um, again, this is one of the set tunnel systems. There was many tunnel systems here on the property. Um, but we are going to keep going as we head back. Again, uh, this place is just uh, awesome. Awesome to walk through, get some nature while enjoying some history. And uh, just enjoying uh, all these things we pay for as... Uh, citizens of Long Island I mean if you live on Long Island you pay taxes you know how damn high these taxes are and uh, our taxes pay for things like this um, our state taxes our county tax and our town tax um, enjoy them get out enjoy the stuff that we have um, you know I didn't really start enjoying this stuff until I had kids which is uh, sad but I didn't even think about that stuff. My kids just wanted to get out and do things and walk and go to parks and I started looking up parks. And I started looking up things to do locally and uh, it doesn't cost money. And uh, this stuff is just here, here for us to enjoy, here for us to see and it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm just saying get out there. Life is stressful and uh, enjoy these parks. Oh, there's another hatch right over here. You see it over there straight ahead. So this whole area at one time was completely dug out to put these uh, hatches in. And I'm just curious, uh, you know, I do have some tools with me. Uh, again, it's a time thing, but I'm curious to see if that thing would budge but I'm sure I'm asking for trouble so I got lots of stuff in my shoe again guys if you live on the island um, go check out some cool stuff um, like I said I'm going to be doing a uh, some some is exploring I have some other sites that I have in mind that I actually have mapped out already that uh, once the summer approaches and the kids are out full time I'll have a few more days not a few more days a few more hours to do things if the wife home wife's home and takes them out somewhere and it's a girl day out you know I'll have time to do stuff like this um, you know when you get older and your friends have their life and their job and their families getting together and doing things like this is stuff we used to do um, but over time it just stopped you know families look at that one that's a there's a, another hatch so it looks like we got like so far we've hit in three three hatches and we're not even that far um, that one looks pretty uh, pretty secure I mean unless there's something under those uh, those leaves, now I see cement. Let's keep going. I wonder if there's additional hatches, like besides those squares, like maybe something else we're like walking right past, you know? Could it be? I don't know. But that breeze feels nice. It's a hot day today. It's 85. Uh, Humidity is kind of low, so it's uh, so it's actually pleasant in the shade. Nice breeze. But we are currently walking over these tunnels right now. So under our feet of these tunnels. And I'm just looking to the left for a hatch or something. Uh, any flat ground.
you guys see anything I missed? I don't know, let me know. But I'm sure this is not super entertaining. Maybe some people like this, some people don't. Maybe some people just want me to shut up. And if that's the case, let me know. And I can do this walk again completely quiet. You can hear the train in the distance. That, that was the line that it bro branched off of to uh, come to this facility. Um, again, uh, this was a, a very, very large hospital. And another thing people didn't know about is that uh, actually uh, Helen Keller, um, she actually, uh, I don't know what that is. She, uh, Helen Keller, actually, you want to see that too? Yeah, I'll see what that is. This thing right here, what is this thing? Let's see it right there. That thing on the, on the branch. What that thing is. But uh, Helen Keller was at this hospital in the uh, 40s. Um, she uh, came here uh, to inspire the soldiers who came from uh, World War II. And uh, she was here to uh, inspire them with giving them morale to uh, keep going and keep moving and just uh, to try to be happy through these uh, tough economic times and uh, mental times that were they were sent here uh, to get better with their mental health. Um, another weird thing is that a lot of children were sent here. A lot of, a lot of kids. A lot of kids were sent here. Um, parents just would say, uh, my kid's crazy, and then they would just come and get them and put them on a train from New York City, and they would come right out here, and some of them would live out here for years. Some of them died here. Some of them, you know, some of them lived here for 10, 15 years before they were reacclimated to society, and it's pretty shitty, but, you know, that's, uh... What happens, unfortunately, in these early days of, uh, of population booms and trying to learn how to deal with society, and it's a, just a very interesting thing. I haven't seen any hatches. I haven't seen any hatches recently, so I'm looking. I mean, there's mounds, like there's a mound right there. Yeah, that's my alarm to get my kid. There's a mound that is interesting, but I am gonna have to put a pep in my step here because uh, I got 15 minutes to be to the car, which is, uh, there's a mound, there's a, yeah. So, unfortunately, this went too fast and it was too much fun and uh, I found another one there it is right there you can see it let's see if we can see it together here I don't even know if you can see it but it's right there I don't even know if you can see it on the camera it's so bright out awesome it's awesome uh, again I just took too much time to do this now I know for next time I need at least two hours as we're gonna start walking a little faster and if the camera gets shaky I apologize you can tune out and uh, we'll see you next time but I'm gonna keep this on and I'm gonna walk my way back as we get closer to the old Comac Road, which would be main loop right here. Okay, main loop, that's where we're coming from. We gotta go straight. Straight, right? Yeah, this looks straight. Hmm. Thorns. This is uh all oh, right, this is straight. This looks like a fresh fall. I really just hope I'm going the right way. 
Yeah, this is the right way. Looks like that tree just fell. All right. Comac Road. You got here. You should know what's coming on the bike. Okay, birdies. We are walking down the old Comac Road. I need to head that way. There's the open field. To my right would be a big open field right there. That was the big hospital that is on uh, the map right there. That is where the hospital stood one day. And uh, I keep hearing things, but it's my the ice in my water bottle. And uh, yeah, that's where a lot of crazy stuff happened. Uh, Probably said it earlier, but uh, they, they don't have an exact number of the deaths, but it was in the tens of thousands of either uh, dying of old age, dying of uh, mental disease, dying uh, from uh, lobotomies and experiments. And uh, the reason this place is known to be uh, haunted. So, either way, it's beautiful. I see a lot of them running across the chipmunk. But nature's beautiful. I've been talking. So we're on our way back now. And I hope I got that last part. So right over here is where uh, the hospital would be. We are going to walk pretty much right over where the hospital was, which is pretty much from over here, down this way, across where we are, to that side. And, uh, yeah, pretty uh, amazing stuff. Again, uh, I saw an old coin on the ground. Yeah. But uh, guys, thanks for staying with me. If you did, um, if you like these kind of things, I'm going to be exploring other parks and other historic sites on the island like this. And I'm talking about stuff that is not known, stuff you can't find on a map, stuff that you can't find. Uh, you know, in the local uh, Google search, it says, hey, here's a, here's a, you know, old historic place to visit. This is off the beaten path right here, and uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, guys, have a good day. We are going to sign off now as we approach the uh, area where Ahar is, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of this. Hope some of it came out. I uh, hope we got some good content. Guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me. Uh, later.